Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan Sneaks back with another sneaker video. And today I want to do like another topic discussion. Uh, Kanye West recently tweeted out that he's making a million Yeezys this year. Or Adidas actually is making a million Yeezys this year. And they're opening up new factories. Now, uh, my question to you guys is, what do you think is going to happen with that? Do you think he's going to make a million Yeezys like on one colorway? Is he going to just bust out a whole bunch and make it a big GR? Uh, is he going to keep it limited and do more colorways? I know we got a lot of the like visuals of the new ones that are coming out, a lot of pictures. Uh, something is like a 350 with the higher heel. I'll probably add some uh, pictures in there in the middle. Um, we also have like some other ones that are they're supposed to be the 550s that look like boots, like a crate boot. Uh, we have uh, some more 950s, uh, some more 750s. We have just a whole bunch of stuff coming out. Uh, prices are supposed to be lower, so maybe I'll start picking up some clothing items from that. Because before it was a really crazy price to pay for like a t-shirt or something. Uh, now if he drops it around like 80 bucks a shirt, uh, 200 a sweater, or something similar, more like Supreme prices. Uh, where it's kind of expensive, but you can still pull it away. Uh, you can still get something out of that. Uh, I say why not. I mean, if he's using some good stuff in it, I pick one thing up. I mean, I don't see the problem with that. But uh, the big thing I wanted to talk about was the million Yeezys. Uh, so, okay, say he pulls out all these different colorways, doesn't do them as uh, much of a GR, just more of like a, a limited release like he's been doing. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of sneakerheads would be okay with that, uh, but there's still going to be a lot of people complaining saying they didn't get a pair. Uh, if he was to put out, say, uh, a new colorway and make it a GR, and it kind of everybody can get their hands on it, like something like a white cement 4 where it doesn't sit, but it doesn't, it doesn't go like that. Uh, that would be something cool, but then a lot of people complain saying it's too widely available and they want something more limited. So it's kind of like you don't really get your way with the sneakerhead with Adidas and Kanye. I mean, you try to give them what they want, but they're going to ask for something different. And I'm pretty sure you all know how that goes already. Uh, it's just the way sneakerheads are. They want one thing, and if it doesn't go their way, they want the other way. But that's just how life is. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is are they going to be restocking them? We already saw the restock on the Pirate Black. Uh, I didn't go for the, the Pyre Black 2.0. Uh, I didn't feel like I needed to since I had these. I was going to if my girlfriend wanted them. She decided she didn't want them. Uh, but you know, I would be completely fine if they were to restock like a different colorway. Uh, maybe get my hands on it for my girlfriend because I don't need any of the other ones. I'm pretty happy I did get the ones that I did. The 350s, the first ones, because the new ones I'm seeing with the new graphics on the side aren't really my thing. I may pick up one or two if I have the chance to, uh, but I'm still going to expect them to go like crazy. Now if they were to restock these, how would y'all feel about that? Because I know these are the most sought after, the most, like the price on these are the craziest. Uh, I know but a lot of people didn't get them. Uh, so I mean, if I didn't have my hands on these, I would be so happy if a restock happened. But then again, at the sneaker standpoint, if a sneakerhead, somebody else, re I mean if they re-release them, more people are going to get them, it's not as limited. Uh, which I can see, um, I'm not really into that whole I want it because you don't have it. So I mean if y'all get it, that's cool. I mean, uh, the only reason I would want a restock on the Turtle Doves is just to get my girlfriend a pair, honestly. I don't need another pair. Uh, if I wear these out, my bottoms are still looking pretty good on these. Uh, if they were to get worn out, then yeah, maybe I'd pick up another pair. But I don't see myself picking up another pair of any of them. So a Turtle Dove restock would be good. A Moon Rock would make the most sense because... Uh, like sneaker sites didn't get them, it was more, it was the hardest to get, I would say, out of all of them. So these would probably be the most, it'd make the most sense because not as many people were able to grab these. Uh, and then last but not least, the odd ones out, the tans, not too many people are into these. I know some people that love them because of the color. I know some people that hate them because of the color. It really is just like if you're into that, uh, like the tonal, like natural colors, then I guess. But I'm just going off what I think. I'm, I honestly think the million Yeezys he's saying, he's going to put out a couple new colorways here and there, uh, the same one he did before, but I do believe he's going to be restocking some of the original colorways because it just really wouldn't make too much sense to restock these and not give you the rest. This wasn't the first one, this is the second one. It doesn't make sense to restock the second one and not the first one, so it's just, that's just what I'm thinking. I kind of want to get y'all's opinions though. This is more of like a topic. This isn't something to argue with anybody or say you're wrong or uh, these are how you get Yeezys or whatever. I just want to I just want to know what y'all think. Like, do y'all think they're going to be restocks like the Pirate Blacks? Um, honestly, I think so because it makes the most sense to me. If he's making a million Yeezys and more factories, 
Uh, it could be that way. It could just be that he's going to be making a lot of the boots. Uh, lower the price on them like the 950s. Lower the price on them. Make them a little bit wider. Like a wider release with it. And I think more people would go for that. Because I think uh, with Adidas and the Easy line. Everything sold so well. Except for the 950s and the Easy clothing line. Because it was so expensive. Uh, if you drop the prices on them. Uh, mass produce them a little bit more. I say that they probably sell a little bit better. Uh, but these are the bread and butter for Adidas and Yeezy. The 350s, these never sit. The 750s never sit. Uh, they make more of those. It just makes so much more sense from, from a company standpoint to make more of what you're selling out of. Uh, like you see with Jordan Brand, they're putting out so many more retros that some are sitting. Uh, but ultimately, they all get sold. Uh, of course, some of them are going to go on sale. And that's just how Jordan Brand is. They're making tons and tons and it's working. The Master sold out. Uh, the Cement 4 sold out. Uh, what is it? Those pink grade, uh, the grade school, uh, the pink 12 sold out. I mean, just things are selling out crazy now. Um, it's going back to the way it used to be. And I think they did dwindle down the numbers a bit, but not too crazy. So I think if Adidas was to put more of these out, it would make some people mad that want them to be like limited, super limited, and make them a little bit mad from a resale standpoint. But if everybody's getting what they want, I don't see how Adidas is losing. If anything, they're losing with the resale, with people buying and selling for a lot more. Uh, when they could, honestly, if they were to price these at 300, they could sell them. Honestly, they're not worth 200. No, they're not. But they could because everybody would uh, hype, uh, hop on the hype train. It's just that easy. But yeah, I really want to get y'all's opinion on what y'all think is gonna happen with these million Yeezys, if that's even the truth. Because I mean, Kanye's been going a little crazy on Twitter. You don't really know what he's saying, if it's going to be true or not. Um, he's saying no more CDs. That's kind of, I don't understand that one, but I guess if he's trying to promote title that much. And uh, also, if you think they're going to be shocking, uh, which one do you think is going to be the next restock? Honestly, I'm thinking these. I know a lot of people saw on Shoe Palace's website that these were on the list for, I think, May of 2016, which is coming up. I don't think that's true, just because Shoe Palace has had the bread ones on there for two years maybe two years and saying that they're going to be restocking those or putting them back out and that never happened but honestly i think these are going to be the next restock if there is to be a restock uh maybe the gray 750s i do know that there's a rumored brown with like a brownish gumish sole that's supposed to be coming out this month but i also read that there's not going to be a easy this month after all so i mean the way these easy releases are happening it's so different because with nike it was Every once in a blue moon you get one and it sells out quick and that's all you're going to see. With the Adidas, they're letting him push out as many as he wants. Uh, you're getting so many, I mean, for if you saw all those pictures on Instagram, there's all these different colorways of the new ones. And I honestly don't know if that's the 550 or the 350. Uh, if y'all watched, uh, what was it, French Montana Snapchat, uh, he posted that he got an unreleased Yeezy. It was like a Beluga one. If that's even what Beluga is, because some people are saying that Beluga is actually standing for blue grass or for blue gray, so I don't even know, but people are saying Beluga is in a white whale. I don't know the terms, but there was an all white easy. It was a, like a mid top chukka. I don't know if that's the 550. Uh, I did see that Kanye was wearing those gray ones with the orange stripe, and I'm thinking that's just a modified 350. Uh, but I don't know if how I'm really feeling those or not. I really do dig these, but I'm positive as soon as those come out, I'll be riding the hype train as well as everybody else. You can call me a hype beast if you want, but I mean, that's just how it really is with sneakerheads. So let me know, guys, like, what do y'all think is going to happen with these million Yeezys? Is there going to be a million, like, 950s produced and hardly any 350s? Do you think it's going to be evenly dispersed? Do you think there's going to be restocks and just Yeezys every month? Uh, I honestly want to know y'all's opinion because from what I'm seeing, it's just people saying just a million easies, a million easies. Like, I want to know what do y'all think? Because, I mean, it's not for certain. Nobody really knows. But uh, it's fun to get that topic out there and just kind of toss it up and see what everybody else knows. Um, I just kind of wanted to get y'all's opinion. So let me know in the comments down below. Also, guys, if y'all are DMing me on Instagram about the uh, Yeezy Legit Checks, I will answer you, but not through DM. I, I have over a hundred DMs right now just going in just it's so many links going through and all these different pictures It can just be cut down so much. Just all I need y'all to do is tag me in a photo of the boost up close Honestly, all I need to see is this right here something like that Just tag me in anything like that. I can get that answer to you as soon as I see it It's just I have work. I have uh, midterms. I have family I have all these things going on. I have my girlfriend. I just have so much stuff going on and Y'all expect me to, like, respond like that for y'all? 
it's not really going to happen that way. I have so many people asking me, and then I have other stuff that I'm doing right now, uh, especially since I started my second YouTube channel, which I'm trying to just focus a little bit more onto that too. And then this one, of course, with all my sneakers that I'm getting in, I'm trying to do some more videos and push out more content for y'all. So if y'all can help me out and just tag me in a picture, you can tag me as my name, or you can just tag me in the comment section. Uh, either way, it's a little bit easier for me to see, and I can tell you pretty much right off the bat right there. Um, but DMs, it's just not really a good way to do that. Uh, Twitter also is a little bit better, uh, but I don't really use Twitter as much. So if anything, just tag me on Instagram, and that should be an easy way. I'm not going to respond as soon. Like, I'm not going to respond right then and there, but give me a couple hours. I should be able to get back to you. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take it, take it.